Okay, at this very moment, as going to be discussed later, the, the Smith & Wesson lower has, is now being used for this build instead of the Anderson. The, the, the Anderson upper meets so much nicer to the Smith & Wesson lower that it basically has become a rebuild of a Smith & Wesson rifle now. <laughs> Anyways, all this Smith & Wesson stuff, which actually come to think of it, the only thing left on this rifle that is still Smith & Wesson is the upper and the Magpul sight that came with it. Everything else here is just parts uh, that were replaced when this lower and this upper, which were both Smith & Wesson, were still all part of the same gun. Basically, I just have a couple Frankensteins gun here. Anyways, the bolt and the uh, new precision rifle, the one that, you know, I'm nicknamed Hello Kitty though, that's kind of, that, uh, it's coming out of the Smith & Wesson, it's the Smith & Wesson bolt. While this one's being rebuilt, I'm having some, uh, I'm waiting for a barrel to come in for it. I went ahead and slapped into this one because the bolt's on the way, but it won't be here till Thursday, so wanted to get some shooting done with it. So this muttering, stuttering way of saying, at this very moment, I'm using the Smith & Wesson bolt, which we'll get back into this upper, and then this is going to have a Brownells uh, mil spec bolt with one of the super duper coatings on it. So that's where we are with that. And I have my first 500 rounds of. Uh, we're going to start the uh, loading with. Uh, Hornaday's. These were like sixteen dollars um, a box, so I ordered five hundred. That'd be a nice start. Um, at this very moment, Sierra's for their sixty-eight or sixty-nine grain match bullets is right around uh, twenty-three, twenty-four dollars, depending on where you get them from. So you know, savings of. Yeah, six to seven dollars a box. I'm kind of stupid not to use them to try the Hornadays first. I've always had good luck with the Hornaday match bullets. I've always been able to use them interchangeably with the Sierra as far as my load to go. Whether that'll still continue with this rifle, don't know, but we'll see. So, I guess that about ends the uh, parts. Uh, video. As you can see, the rifle is pretty much finished when this is being filmed, but there's still going to be a lot, a lot of other video before uh, we get to the actual uh, first test shots, which have already been done at this time. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll have a lot more for you.